In the next hour, we put the goals of the 1982, 1986 and 1990 World Cups under the spotlight. Which is the best goal scored over the last 150 World Cup games? Which was the outstanding goal from Spain in 82? Which had the Samba drums beating in Mexico in 86? And was Giuseppe Giannini's the best of the bunch in Italia 90? We start with some of the great headed goals of the last three World Cups, when for aerial power and accuracy, football seems to be an inappropriate word. We start with Brian Robson for England in 1982. choice comes from the Group B match of the 86 World Cup. Goal scored by Romero for Paraguay. It was his second goal of the tournament after scoring the winner against Iraq, but this one was even better.
got in before the defender to give his side a valuable strike. Choice number three comes from the Nou Camp Stadium in Spain. Bonnyek making it 2-0 after several English clubs were looking at him as a possible transfer target. His well-placed header completely wrong-footed the Belgian defence. The trajectory of the header also beat the goalkeeper. In second position, from the 1990 World Cup, Belgium against Uruguay, and this goal by Kleisters. De Wolf with this inviting cross, and Kleisters with that tremendous header. The accuracy of the header made the goal even more impressive. Match in Verona was one of the best games of the tournament. This was one of the best goals. The Wolf with this outswinging cross and Kleisters ghosting into the inside right position to score the goal. But the number one choice comes from the 1982 World Cup semi-final. Italy against Poland and Paolo Rossi's fifth goal of the tournament. It was a very simple goal. Conti's cross, but the positioning of Rossi made it all important. This selection concerns those moments when all the planning from the training ground comes right in the big game. We start with this goal scored by Michel in the 1990 World Cup.
When it comes to free kicks, the Brazilians know a thing or two. This is our fourth choice from the set pieces. After Passarella foul Sergino, Adair with his terrific strike. Zico followed up to make it 1-0 for Brazil against Argentina. Adair might have hit more accurate free kicks, but he could have hit few more powerful. Number three comes from the 1990 World Cup. Two minutes into extra time of a second round World Cup game between Spain and Yugoslavia, a foul by Roberto here and Savicevic, and Roberto a yellow card, and Yugoslavia a free kick. Stojkovic is master of these situations, and he proved it here. The arc on that free kick, truly memorable. It was enough to take Yugoslavia into their first World Cup quarter-finals in 16 years. Number two in the hit parade again comes from the 1990 World Cup finals in Italy. This time from Bari, Czechoslovakia against Costa Rica. The Czechs were leading Costa Rica by two goals to one when Hasek was fouled by Marcina, who was booked for that challenge. As the goalkeeper quivered on his line, Lubos Kubic lined himself up to take this free kick. Free kick hit with great accuracy, 3-1 to Czechoslovakia. The Costa Rican defensive wall is a mere irrelevance here to Lubos Kubic, who bet the ball with such great skill. There are few players in the world who can do this in such important matches. When it comes to dramatic goals, this caps the lot. Again from the 1990 World Cup, two minutes from a penalty shootout, England playing Belgium for a place in the last eight of the competition. Heretz fouls Paul Gascoigne, number 19. Gascoigne gets up to clip the free kick in, and David Platt scores a sensational goal for England. Two of England's young players combining so effectively here, Platt can only see the ball a fraction of a second before volleying it past Perdon in the Belgian goal. This has to be one of the most dramatic free kicks of the last three World Cups. There's nothing more satisfying to any football team than when the individual players combine to produce that moment of improvised collective brilliance. The Brazilians know all about that.
In fourth position, Scotland's opening game of the 1990 World Cup against Costa Rica in Genoa. Six passes that unlock Scotland's defence coming up here. Great piece of improvised brilliance by Costa Rica. The real key, Claudio Yara's back heel to set up Cayasso for the shooting opportunity. In third place, Spain versus West Germany from the 1982 World Cup. Match played in Real Madrid's Bernabeu Stadium. This game settled the outcome of the group. Klaus Fischer for West Germany. Right now, the former Real Madrid player setting up Litbarski and Fischer making it 2-0. In second place, Chile against Algeria from the 1982 World Cup, and a goal by Assad for Algeria. It was a match played in Oviedo, proved to be one of the best games of the competition. It was the first finals where Africa had two representatives. Algeria did themselves proud. Majer created the goal down the left-hand side and find Ben Saula. Assad did the rest. But in top spots, a goal for Poland by Andrzej Bunsol. Lato, Boniek, Bunsol all combining here. Lato winning the ball deep inside his own half of the field before bringing it away to stretch the Peruvian defence. This was a killer pass, picking out Bonnier. This clever back heel opened up the opportunity. Bunsol didn't miss. One of the most exciting aspects of the game is outstanding wing play, especially if those dribbling and crossing skills lead to great goals.
Three of the four top goals from wide positions come from the 1990 World Cup in Italy. First of them, Spain against South Korea, Villaroya's cross volleyed in by Michel. In third position, Argentina against Romania, again from the 1990 World Cup in a match played in Naples. Romania in the yellow, a goal down. They strike back here. Haji number 10. That clever little back heel to find Lakatouche. Rednik has got in a good wide position. Sabau's header, Balint makes it 1-1. Five players combining to create an outstanding goal. The cross by Rednich was the key to this goal, but Ballant goal poaching inside the six-yard box with a decisive touch. In second place, Spain versus Yugoslavia, and a goal by Stojkovic. Vojevac here finding Katanets. And Stojkovic drives the ball past Zubi Zareta. A piece of outstanding skill by Stojkovic, which made him the target of the Marseille club in France. Vojevic provided the cross, Katanec with that flick on, and Stojkovic very coolly slotted it in. The best goal from a wide position needs no introduction to England's football fans. From the 86 World Cup, England against Poland. Gary Lineker scores England's second World Cup goal. It's Steve Hodge who supplies the cross. Hodge left Nottingham Forest because he didn't want to play in a wide position. This cross finds the boot of Lineker, whose instant volley beats Muanarchik. Time now for some of those moments from World Cup games where the players can only hope we'll get it right next time. some outstanding marksmanship. The respective goalkeepers may have had chance to see the ball, but there's been nothing they could do about it.
in fourth position, a special from Zibi Boniek for Poland against Belgium. Nato here picks out Boniek. He needed one look where the goals were before picking his spot. Now a goal for South Korea by Park Chang Sung. It was scored against Argentina in the 1986 World Cup Finals. Argentina winning handsomely. South Korea had this late strike to encourage them. Italy against Brazil in the 82 World Cup Finals, and a special goal by Falcao. It was an equalising goal to make it 2-2 in a match to decide who played in a World Cup semi-final. Falcao was playing his club football for Roma. He knew all about the Italians, he knew all about shooting too. But in leading position, a goal for West Germany in the 1990 World Cup against the United Arab Emirates. West Germany leading by two goals to one. Voller helping the ball down to Andy Bremer, whose cross finds the boot of Lothar Matthäus. It was the German captain's third goal of the competition. Germany never gave up despite that outstanding save from the United Arab Emirates goalkeeper. And Bremer's outswinging cross is expertly dispatched. This next clutch of goals is about being in the right place at the right time. It's what goal scorers call instinct. Position, a special goal for England by Peter Beardsley against Paraguay from the 86 World Cup. 
Perhaps the goalkeeper should have held the ball, but Bidsley was in the right place at the right time to force England's advantage. Butcher with his shot and turn, Bidsley did the rest. In third position, the World Cup semi-final of 1982. West Germany against France, France leading by three goals to one in extra time. Litbarski's cross and the German captain Karl-Heinz Rummenigge with the important finish. In second position, another goal by Gary Lineker for England. Lineker scored so many important goals for England. This one eight minutes into England's third game of the 86 World Cup. He starts a move himself. Then spots Trevor Stephen to his right. Stephen in turn finds his Everton club mate Gary Stevens arriving on the overlap. But watch Lineker's positioning, number 10, getting ahead of his marker to score that all important goal. In top spot, Argentina against Italy, and a goal by Toto Scalacci. Scalacci starts a move himself, getting away from Giusti and Budachaga. Giannini helps the ball into the penalty area. Viali with a shot pushed away. There was Scalacci, goal poaching inside the six-yard box. Viali helping the ball on here. Giannini finding a way through the Argentina defence. This was a splendid save by Goicachia, but only into the path of Scilacci. Scilacci scored so many goals like this, he was in the right place at the right time to help Italy. Here now a selection of outstanding finishing from some of the world's best strikers.
France had some outstanding footballers in the early 1980s, none more so than Jean Tiguenin. This splendid strike against Hungary, one of the best goals of the 82 World Cup. Next, the 1990 World Cup game between Cameroon and England. Ekeke strikes home for Cameroon. Just after he came on as a substitute. This has to be one of the best strikes of any World Cup. Josimar for Brazil against Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland goalkeeper Pat Jennings, one of the best in the world. He could do little about this shot. In top position, Italy against Uruguay, and a goal from Toto Scilacci. Italy were aiming for the quarter-finals, Sereno helping the ball through to Scalacci, whose goal-scoring instincts didn't let him down. In this section, some of the world's top players show that a touch of showmanship makes them just a cut above the rest. Argentina's Diego Maradona, the world's best footballer in the mid-1980s, features twice in this top four. Initially with this goal against Belgium in the 1986 World Cup. His athleticism and balance here are quite extraordinary. That's what makes this goal so special. Another special goal scorer is Roger Miller of Cameroon. 38 years old, he came on for the last half hour of this Group B game in Bari against Romania. In second position, Italy against Czechoslovakia. 
Roberto Baggio's first World Cup game, and what a goal. He'd been sidelined against Austria and the USA, but now he was back with a vengeance. He takes the ball here, past Vladimir Kinnear, Ivan Hasek, Miroslav Kadlec, and goalkeeper Jan Stasko. For power, acceleration and skill, this goal takes some beating. But we think we've found one to better even that. Maradona against England in 1986 from the Azteca Stadium. After scoring one of the most controversial goals in World Cup history, he scores arguably one of the greatest. Has six England defenders and then goalkeeper Peter Shilton. were the best 10 goals of the last three World Cups. In 10th position, an outstanding free kick. Lubos Kubic for Czechoslovakia against Costa Rica. A free kick that would rank alongside that of any scored in an international match over the last 10 years. In ninth position, some outstanding teamwork by Algeria against Chile at the 82 World Cup. Majer on the left, finding Ben Saula. And Assad with the finish. Africa had arrived at the World Cup finals. Algeria were without the injured Baloumi didn't seem to need him here. In eighth position, a goal by Paolo Rossi for Italy against Poland. Goal poaching supreme on the back post as Bruno Conti picked him out delightfully. It was a goal which signalled Italy's passage to a World Cup final and it was worthy of such a moment. In seventh position, it's Lothar Matthäus for West Germany against the United Arab Emirates. West Germany leading by two goals to one. And all this German pressure eventually told. Voller again getting it wide to Bremer. How about this for a finish on the German captain? In sixth place, a goal by Andrei Bunsol. Poland against Peru from the 82 World Cup. Lato number 16 picking out Boniek. Boniek's dummy. Finding Bunsol. And that little back heel allowing Bunsol the opportunity to score. Poland went into the game after goalless draws against Italy and Cameroon. 
This really was a goal to save up. Encompassing three quarters of the length of the football field. Before Lato found Bonjek. Bonjek skipped over the ball. And then Bunsol and Bonjek combined for an outstanding finish. English football fans will always remember this goal scored by David Platt against Belgium in the Italian World Cup. Two minutes from the end of the game, two minutes from a penalty shootout. An exceptional strike from David Platt, who just arrived on the international scene. In many ways, the star of the 1990 World Cup was Toto Scalacci of Italy. In fourth position, this goal against Uruguay, his third of the competition. It took Italy to the quarter-finals. A memorable strike on a memorable night. Italian players hog two of the top four positions. This goal scored by Roberto Baggio against Czechoslovakia. It was his first World Cup game. He'd been sidelined in the matches against Austria and the USA. But he burst onto the international scene in tremendous fashion. Taking the ball round four Czechoslovak defenders. And then goalkeeper Jan Stajko. This was Italy's second goal against Czechoslovakia. It's hardly surprising that Gary Lineker figures in a top three of World Cup goals scored in the last 10 years. This one against Poland in Mexico in 1986. Steve Hodge getting down the left-hand side. And this is an outstanding finish from an outstanding international forward. It's the immediacy of Gary Lineker's shot which makes this goal so special. He can't have had long to see the flight of Steve Hodge's cross, but that didn't bother him. So which of the nearly 400 goals scored in the last three World Cups is in top spot? You guessed it. Scored in the Azteca Stadium on the 22nd of June, 1986. Diego Maradona for Argentina against England. It was a picture book of a goal as he drifts round six England defenders to put Argentina in the semi-finals of the World Cup. This was the best goal of the last three World Cups.